truth or you've been walking as a Hebrew Israelite for a long time um, we have a lot of brothers and it looks it seems to be the brothers up in New York for the most part but there are different camps in different areas that seem to be very hateful and um, I don't personally like it I don't feel like it's a good reflection of who we are as God's people and um, I just want to talk about that um, so um, you know they they've come a long way and the thing is, is that they even speak out against racism. Now, these are the Israelites that are in Israel right now. Black Hebrew Israelites that are in Israel right now have to speak out against racism because they know it's wrong. Not, the, not go out and say, oh, look how horrible these Philistines are. Oh, look how horrible these Egyptians are. Or, oh, look how horrible these, these you, you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's so important that people have awakened and know who they are as far as the slavery story and concerns of blacks in America and them being descendants from Hebrew Israelites or whatever. That's just really important right there. Um, so to focus your attention on everybody being evil and not focusing your attention on, hey, let's uh, let these young brothers know, hey, slavery, this wasn't slavery. We are descendants from the Israelites. This is how we should be walking. Um, so even if Christians are, de you know, are, de are deceived in certain things or whatever um, in regards to the word of God, um, it doesn't mean that they're not spiritual. It doesn't mean that they don't believe in God. It doesn't mean they don't try to do the right thing towards their man. Even if Christians are, de you know, are de are deceived in certain things or whatever um, in regards to the Word of God, um, it doesn't mean that they're not spiritual. It doesn't mean that they don't believe in God. It doesn't mean they don't try to do the right thing towards their man. But I think it's ridiculous. A lot, a lot of these brothers are just so hateful and just want to call white people this and that. And I know in my own experience of life that that's not true. Or whatever, that not all white people are bad, that not all white people are bad, that not all white people are bad, that not all white people are bad. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Also, Shalom to the hopeful elect, laboring in sincerity, truth, and sound doctrine. And um, I don't know where to go, where even to begin with this Israelite. If you could believe this, this is kind of new to me. Um, when I saw the video, I thought it was just going to be a Christian hating the uh, Hebrew Israelites, but this guy knows he's an Israelite, but he goes to church. <laughs> I've never, I've never heard anything like that. Uh, so what should we call him? Uh, a Christalite? He's a Christian and is Israelite? I don't know, man. You know, this is madness, man. This is why the Lord is going to destroy two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And it's not even funny. It's really, you know, I try to make humor out of some of these things, man. But it's ridiculous, man. I've never seen anything like that. An Israelite who goes to the Christian church. Now, we've heard of Israelites falling out. And going to going back to church, but this guy believes anyway. This is this madness? He believes he's taken Christianity and adopted it into the Israelite faith, or he took the Israelite faith and adopted it into Christianity. One of the two, okay. But this guy's completely confused. He says he goes on to say you shouldn't hate the so-called white man, which. Um, not only do we hate the so-called white man, we hate our people for loving the so-called white man. And some of our people look like the white man. Let's get that straight. But the majority of Esau, the so-called Caucasian, Caucasian race, yes, you should hate. Uh, if you go back in the history, when we was being lynched and hung on trees, did they not stand around and cheer it on? Then they cheer themselves on and build themselves up? Okay? And niggas right along being coons... Uh, you know, 
just accept it and love seeing his fellow brother being lynched. Okay, you can just see the sickness of our people. And these guys here are nothing more than a reincarnation of Esau lovers, man. That's all they are. Okay, so let's get a scripture real quick. This is, uh, uh, let's get Jeremiah. Let me get this real quick. Jeremiah 13 and 10. Uh, you know, all the the, the uh, hate scriptures, I mean, it's hundreds, it's many of them. Let me say that. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of scriptures that go into hating Esau, okay? Uh, Jeremiah 13 and 10. This evil people talking about our people, which refused to hear my words because the word was only given to the Israelites, which walk in the imagination of their heart and walk after other gods. And that's what this guy is doing. He wants to be Christian in a Christian church. He wants to be the uh, God so loved the world. God, God holds hands. He's about waking up his people. So he says, but he doesn't understand a part of waking up his people is understanding who the enemy of the of his people are, man. Okay. So along with love comes slavery because they use that love tactic, that love doctrine to enslave you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Okay, and they're doing it again, and they're using you Negroes to do it. <clears throat> okay, it goes on to say, to serve them, talking about other gods, and to worship them shall even be as the girdle, which is good for nothing. Okay, so you can see that this guy uh, is using the love doctrine, the peace doctrine of Christianity, and trying to fuse it into the Israelite doctrine. Okay, and we'll say at Great Millstone, we're not having that, man. That is ridiculous and will not be not be had. Okay, coups like this have got to be exposed uh, for the wrong teachings and the wrong doctrine. Okay, now you got other Israelite groups and in, in, in different variations who teach different things, but we all teach it. We Israelites, we if it's up to this cool. You know, there will never be a man that will stand up. Real men stand up and take charge and lead, okay? This cool, okay, he's not about waking up uh, men who, who will lead and take charge who, with, when the very few sisters, okay, who's maybe trying to follow will follow these men that's taking lead and taking charge. This cool wants you to be an effeminate like himself as you can look in this guy's eyes and see he loves America and as feminine as they come, okay? Uh, again, racism, uh, the, the devil is the one that perpetuates racism, and the main thing he wants to do is, uh, after he uh, perpetuates racism, and we get slaughtered, uh, onslaughted, being destroyed from drugs, crack, and everything else, then they slide the racism card, we should love, learn to love, that's why we're in the condition. Well, loving in the way that they're talking is the reason why we're in this condition, okay? So it's time to find something a little bit different. Oh, well, let me say a whole lot different. And that's the truth of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Uh, and, you know, the scripture says you, sh uh, you should know the truth and the truth shall make you free, okay? You ain't free, man. That love doctrine have enslaved you. That love doctrine was set up to keep you enslaved because what it does is it keeps you loving your master, Okay? By saying that we need to hold hands, that old good time shit, hold hands, love, and love your neighbor, your enemies, and love everybody, okay? Your enemies was your fellow Israelites, okay? That, and, and at this stage of the game, you can't love them. But you got Israelites who in the truth that you love, man, okay? Uh, it just doesn't make any sense what this guy is saying because everything he's saying is what further enslaved our people. So go ahead and wake up black people and tell them that they're Israelites. Native Americans tell them that they're Israelites. What next? Is that going to do it? You got to call out the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. And a part of doing that is knowing who your enemy is. Okay? The scripture says, never trust our enemy. Okay, let's get another scripture. John 12 and 26. If any man serve me, talking about Yahweh let him follow me. And where I am, there shall also my servant be. Okay? If any man serve me, him will my father honor. Okay? So how do we serve the Lord? Okay? Uh, Yahweh and this so-called Jesus Christ. So let's go to Luke 19 and 27. Let's see what Yahweh said, the one you call Jesus. 
But those mine enemies, which will not that I should reign over them, bring them hither and slay them before me. So, we could clearly see that the one you call Jesus was not all about love. Okay? It wasn't all about just love every goddamn body. Why did he turn off the changes tables, man? Why do you ever fit? Let me ex let me put it in a nutshell. Why was he hung? What was he lynched for? Did they not hate him? Okay? So it was never really about love. Only the love towards the brethren and the truth. This was not for anybody else, man. See, the, the why this guy is talking about love, everybody, peace and love, that, that Don Cornelius shit, you know, peace and love. At the same time, Esau... Is putting bringing out GMO foods. Esau is spraying chemtrails. Okay, Esau is poisoning you with vaccines with the mercury and mercury. Esau is constantly making you sick, taking your jobs. He's putting your woman over you. I mean, come on, it's a whole host of things. This guy's bug bugged the hell out. You you know, this guy's bugged out. Um. And, and, and at the same time, again, there's just a couple examples. Uh, he says to love everybody and uh, have peace even with the heathens. But these heathens are the ones running your 7-Elevens, your uh, gas stations, all your businesses. The only thing you niggas got is hair cutteries and shit, man. Oil stores, okay? Or hair salons that they give the nigga woman. But then they get the gooks to uh, sell the hair, the hair weaves. Come on, man. This guy's not making any sense, you know? Uh, you know, and I don't understand it because he never brought out a scripture. His head is covered. This coon has his head covered. Uh, well, maybe he should have. He's not reading any scriptures. You know, he's not teaching nothing. You know, all these vain opinions, man. But this guy's not on no level, you know? The Lord is looking for soldiers, man. The Lord is looking for... Yeah, how about Shemel Shah is looking for men? Not effeminate, okay? And we can see this man is effeminate. He still goes to the Christian church, you know? Uh, a part of, uh, he talking about educating the so-called black people. You know, you know, the part of educating the black people is telling them who their enemy is. Why educate somebody that you can't teach them the whole truth? That's the whole point of uh, where, where school went off, okay? They edu the educational system told us Christopher Columbus discovered America and they had a holiday for him but they did not tell him what Christopher Columbus did Cristobal Colon they did not say what he did this is the same thing this guy doing he's telling you to love have peace have happiness don't worry about them just worry about waking your people up and then what okay let them continue if it's up to this guy this world would still go on the way it is he loves America that's why I got him holding the flag, man. This guy loves America. Okay, let's go to another scripture. Psalms 92 and 7. 97 and 10, Salakia. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He that preserveth the souls of his saints. Okay, who's the saints of the Lord, man? At this point, the elect Israelites. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Okay, who's the head of the wicked? See, these guys is thinking it's talking about one guy. We're talking about a nation of people. All Edomites, all Edomites play a role. A Caucasian can help you. Well, the scripture says if a man weighs peace the Lord, he makes his enemies to be at peace with you. So that doesn't, that doesn't mean for nothing. But at the same time, didn't we go in slavery? Wasn't some of us so-called cool? Did we not all had to pay the price for our forefathers? And what we done, which is in a reincarnation. So the so-called white man has to pay too. Isaiah 14, 21, prepare slaughter for the iniquity of their fathers, man. That they do not rise or possess the land or to fill the faces of the world with cities. Just paraphrasing. Did not Freddy Krueger in the movie, they told you that in that movie Friday the 13th. Did not Freddy Krueger go after the children, man? Where do you think Esau get this stuff from, man? Okay? This doesn't make any sense. Uh, we, You know, again, the scripture says, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. So we're supposed to love homosexuals. Okay? We're supposed to love our oppressors. We're supposed to love the fact that we can't even love our women and our children. Okay? 
that we can't even discipline them without uh, us having to be arrested. So if we don't discipline them, the state will do it for you. If we don't discipline them, they got a jail a jailhouse for them. Okay? we supposed to do that, right? we supposed to love the fact that we have wives or girlfriends that we may live with. But if something happens, you got to get kicked out of your own house. Get child support. You have to pay alimony to pay a, a, a wicked ass woman who's going to take care of another nigga on your dime. But we supposed to love that. What a devil, man. See, niggas, niggas like this is devils themselves, man. Okay? You know, we say the white man is the devil, but you niggas are the greater devils, man, at this point. Okay? Because you side for them. Look, Jeremiah 5 28 says they surpass the deeds of the wicked. Psalms 139 and 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. Who's the them? Okay? Who's the thee? Okay? Right now, the elect state. Okay? So, what we just read in the book of John, okay? When we read the book of John, what did, uh, um, what, what did it say in that, in that scripture, man? If any man serve me, let him follow me. So, if the Lord hates, right? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh hates, and we to follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh so that means we are to hate as well. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean we're going to go out there and, and do the KKK moves. No, we're going out there prophesizing the downfall of this place and telling you that if, you, uh, if you're the elect to wake up and come back to your nationality, your heritage, that you're a biblical Israelite. Because every time you do a video, uh, at least that I do videos, I am now trying to incorporate the fact that, uh, it, you know, for edification purposes and teaching purposes that there are people... I'll reach out to the elect of our people to uh, show the discrepancies of this world, man. To show them the truth. Okay? It says, Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee. And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? Who's that? Okay? Uh, you know, the so-called white man has got to go, man. He's the biblical Edomite. He's the cancer of the earth. He's the problem of the earth. Okay, and every one of y'all that are siding with this devil, you're going to be, uh, uh, it's, it's funny that when you cure can try to cure cancer, uh, in Esau's system, they use what you call chemo and radiation therapy. Okay, <laughs> so I can see the next radi radioactive therapy is coming to America, because when the nuclear bombs drop, guess what? There's going to be fire, destruction, and radioactive therapy, okay? That's my take on that. I want to say Shalom.